tolerance. But you gotta change that tolerance. Too. And that's why I was going through niggas like crazy. Uh uh. Can't fuck with it. Nope. Don't like it. Don't like this, 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 this. Oh, this outweigh this. Got to go. New nigga me, please. What's good to YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reaction video. If you're new here for the first time, my name is TMR. And since you clicked on this video, you might as well subscribe to this YouTube channel and make sure you click that notification bell. Leave your comments down below and enjoy this reaction video. What's good to YouTube? What's good, TMR gang? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Rick reaction video. And welcome back to the Break Room Chronicles. Well, breaks are normally 15 minutes, but y'all over here, we break for one damn hour. Shouts out to the two live crew. Child, I see you by far the best damn chat on YouTube, honey. You better ask someone about this two live crew. Oh, and uh, shouts out to the Bush gang. Hey, Bush watchers. What it do, Bush gang? Shouts out to the replay gang. Hey, replay gang. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you let me know in the bottom of this here video that you're part of the replay gang. Go ahead, hashtag replay gang in this thing. So myself and the two live crew definitely know it's real. Hey, you guys, happy hump day. What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another reaction video, honey. We got a couple of... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Y Topics. Y'all, I'm sorry. I have been talking all day, not on the YouTube, but I'm trying to take care of business, y'all. Getting these orders out the door for Melby Rose Beauty and working on my candle line, y'all. And I, baby, when I tell you I have been stressed, <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's okay, y'all. It, it, it goes with the territory. I'm okay with it. <sighs> but I'm definitely working hard, you guys. I just, I just realized, Lord, there's just not enough time in the day. Yeah, I've been up since, mm, I think I got up about 8, 8.30 this morning. And I looked around and I'm like, oh, it's 6 o'clock. I said, well, dang, where did time go? Time just flew by, just flew by. It was a beautiful day outside today as far as the weather. It was warm outside. It's been cold here. You guys, I was able to go check the mailbox, and that's as much as I was able to get of the breeze, and that was about it. But enough about me, more about y'all. What's good, everyone? Thank y'all so much for stopping what you were doing and meet me over here in the damn break room. Oh my goodness gracious, what's good, you guys? Hey, everybody, hey, everybody. Um, I'm having contractions, but I don't know if they're real or not because I only had a C-section, never went into active labor. Oh, Ani, Ani, sis, oh, baby, I'm going to tell you right now, honey, call 911, okay? Call 911, sis. Oh, my goodness. Sis, good luck to you. I hope everything goes okay for you. I know, oh, boy, I remember those days. Um, Okay. All right, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Shakay. Hey, Bria. Our family, Jessica. Miss Coco, I think you were the first one in the building, sis. What's up, girl? Hey, Latoy. Hey, Amar. Hey, Bria. Hey, Carolyn. Mish. Takesha. Shirley. Majesty. What's good, everybody? Hey, Bees. Hey, Newton. If TMR missed your name, we didn't fall out, y'all. Hey, Juana. Hey, Erica. Hey, Miss Lindsay. Hey, Miss Clark. Let me see who else is in the building. Who else is in the building? Okay, okay. I think I got everybody. Hey, Six. Um, If I didn't say your name again, we ain't fell out. Okay. Hey, you know, you're spoiling this sassy. 
Okay, okay. I think I got everybody. Jessica. I just two Jessica. So hey to both of y'all. Bankhead Monica. Okay, uh Hada, Miss T L D. All right, y'all. We we got some um oh look lavender. First time talking on my live. Well, hey, okay, welcome to the break room, sis. All right. We uh we good folk around here, okay? Y'all welcome lavender to the break room. Now, lavender, don't start acting crazy on us, okay? Oh, goodness gracious. Um, I'm going to be mute for a few hours. <laughs> okay, sassy, I get it, sis. Hey, mastermind. All right, d Rep, what's good, sis? So, okay, you guys, um, y'all see the title and the thumbnail. Y'all know I like to react to some of Kendra G's episodes. We haven't done that in a while, so I definitely, there's one in particular that I was, uh, saw earlier, and I said, oh, we need to save this for a break room, because I think that's a would be a very good engaging conversation for us. We are definitely not just Will Smith and Chris Rock and that whole debacle over there. Uh uh. No, I'm done with it, y'all. I don't want to talk about that anymore. It's unfortunate that that drama superseded everything else that went on. I didn't even know Meg the Stallion had performed at the show. I y'all didn't even know that. Okay. And other people won awards. So unfortunately to the all the other people who waited all year or maybe waited many years to get recognized for their accomplishments um, was was overshadowed because Will Smith uh, was feeling a little froggy and leaked the other day. Okay, what's up, Candy C? What's up, good sis? Um, you said I could use some good laughs. Yes, sis, we all can. Laughter is, uh, honey, medicine for the soul, baby. So, y'all, we're going to move past that conversation it, y'all there's plenty of people still talking about it probably can get more in depth with you guys as far as the details tmr cannot okay because i'm not the one for you all right yes i am too honey that whole debacle over there miss tld baby i can't take it oh goodness crazy me too over so over the slap yes yeah, sis I, i'm good okay um hey walk what's good sis so here we go um Reality TV called YouTube. Okay, what's up, moments? Reality you a uh, reality TV called YouTube. Okay, so if you guys don't know what I am talking about, y'all know the other day my jazzy life baby daddy Philip got out of jail, honey, and I'm telling you he has taken this mommy sector by damn storm. Okay, um, so it's just y'all look. He went. He did a cooking show. I guess you want to call it a cooking show. Then he did a Q and A and yada 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 and at the end of the day my whole thoughts of that man is me personally feel is bored he's lonely okay and i think he's looking for companionship company too y'all know social media is that it's for you to be social and he definitely is using it to his full capacity okay uh you said pimp and feel over there well he said he's done with that he said he that's that's in his past he oh you know what's up unique what's up ariana sis said um it, i mean sir i called him sis sorry philip uh sir said that's in his past okay he's a new man he said that uh the penitentiary taught him some jim carrey 2019 i said his reaction when they made him move out the film section okay okay um so okay y'all look I really don't have any opinion of Philip other than, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, he, he, uh, sir, seems I, I don't like how he smack his lips all the every time he say here. I maybe that's just how he talk. I don't know, but I, I don't typically see too many men every time they say shoo, shoo, and just smack. <laughs> I don't get that part. But okay, <laughs> I care. But uh, you have 10 kids, uh, lonely where, baby. Hey, Don, I want to be the next baby mama over there. Oh, well, he did say that um, he he would have more kids if he um, got married. And I'm thinking to myself, hell, you didn't marry none of these six baby mamas that you have. Y'all, the man said he got six baby mamas. I said, well, damn. Whew. Okay, sir. Um, he overtaking up Chris when people trying to tell him about the kid, about the kid, his kids crazy, um, taking up for Chris. You know what? I don't think he's necessarily, um, 
taking up for Chris. I just think he's trying to bob and weed the drama. I believe Jasmine um, basically gave him a brief tutorial of, of the YouTube streets and what she has been going through. And um, she don't want nobody talking about her man, okay? She definitely don't want Philip. And based off what Philip says, he doesn't really have an opinion of Chris, okay? The man even said if the kids, somebody asked him, um, would you be okay with the kids calling Chris daddy? Okay. Um, the man said, well, hell, if he over there doing daddy things, then okay. He said, you know, I call my stepfather dad, you know, because my stepfather was a good man, you know, provided for me and this, and I call him dad. He said, my, my biological father wasn't ish, you know, he said, but I still, you know, acknowledge the fact that he's my biological father. He basically said he has no problem with it because the kids know who they daddy are. Okay. And I'm like, well, okay, Chris. I, I mean, Chris, Lord. I said, okay, Philip. I'm mean, one thing I did f find about Philip that I don't hear from Chris. And this was even before Philip went to jail. Philip loves his kids. That you cannot take from that man. He definitely does love his kids. He he was a wild boy, hot boy. He probably still got a little wild in him. I, hell, I don't know. But he does love his children. And one thing about him, he speaks of his children all the time. You can tell that his kids are, you know, the light in his eyes right now. Now, maybe that's because he's been gone away from them for damn near five years. And all he had to do was think about his children and realize all the time he missed out on them. So um, one thing I don't hear Chris mention, I don't you never hear him mention his kids. Now, we do understand that the baby mamas of Chris's other children told Chris and Jasmine, don't you put my kids on your damn channel, okay? And they have abided by that thus far. But you never hear Chris, even when Chris gets on Chris and Jazz, the channel they have together, and he talks to the audience when he tells the audience how much he miss them and love them and want to kiss them in the mouth and all that. Y'all know how he talks over there acting like he really in love with YouTube when he can care less. You know, y'all, you remember he called us peasants, okay? But, hey, Tila. But one thing, um, he never speaks of his children. He doesn't speak of them affectionately. He don't, I mean, not even given, because Philip hasn't even named his children. Now, we know Asia's kids' names, and we know Jasmine's kids' names, because they're on YouTube, or, you know, so we, we know of their children. But the other four kids. Yeah, we don't know what their names are, but he de he definitely says all my kids are my babies. I love my children. Um I'm spending time with my kids and and you know, again, but from the videos I saw of Jasmine, early Jasmine, Philip was very attentive to the children. Now, one thing he did say um um about Jasmine, um someone said about him and Jasmine breaking up. I can't remember exactly how the question was phrased, but he basically said, you know, he let Jasmine go because he was facing five to 99 years and he didn't want her to put her life on hold. Now y'all typically know, if you know anybody, man that's ever been locked up, that's typically the conversation for all the ninjas. That's, that's a guilt trip to try to make you feel guilty. Don't go on with life. Um, you, you know, go on with your life, um, even though I can't go on with you, but you go on and live your life. Just leave me here in this little old cell by myself and go on with your life over, you know, but he did say, you know, he wanted Jasmine. Basically what he said was Jasmine was very dependent upon him and he wanted Jasmine to gain some independence about herself. And y'all know we said that. We 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 picked that up from Jasmine because we know when Philip went to prison, Jasmine fell apart. Like that girl literally fell off. I mean, you could tell, I mean, that girl did endless live streams and videos of how desperate or you know dire straight she was without having assistance. Hey, love beauty. Um, so um you know, he, so he basically said, and now, you know, she's doing very well for herself. She has a nice house. She's making a little shmoney, you know, and she's doing well for herself. And he said he's happy for Jasmine. And when he said that, I genuinely felt that he meant that, you know, um, I believe Philip basically, he basically said, you know, um, Jasmine needed to grow up and she needed to grow up without him. And, and that was true. She did. She definitely did. Um, so, 
But I think Jasmine basically traded Philip in for Chris. Okay. Because I personally feel um, if Philip, or excuse me, if Chris left tomorrow, Jasmine will fall apart. She would literally fall apart. Um, would she get back with Philip? Probably. I don't know. Okay. But if, if, Chris left tomorrow. That girl will fall apart at the seams. She would. Because you could tell Jasmine is very codependent. She she needs reassurance. She needs, that's the reason why she latched on to Chrissy like she did. Because Chrissy did the same thing she did YouTube. And Chrissy was like her, you know, confidant out here in these YouTube streets. And when her and, hey, Miss BB, and when her and Chrissy, or yes, when Jasmine and Chrissy's relationship dissolved, you can tell that Jasmine was very erratic about the situation, you know? I doubt it, but she definitely will go to relying on her mother. Um, she, yeah, she definitely will rely on her mom. She definitely will do that. But um, Carolyn says she's agreed, yeah. But um, I, my personal opinion about Philip is, I think once Philip gets to working, because he said he has two jobs lined up, and once he get a woman up in his face, a steady Eddie woman, I'm pretty sure if several women that hit, hit several women, excuse me, have hit him up in his DMs, honey, um, YouTube will be a thing of the past for him. Uh, I think YouTube is Jasmine's thing. Now, one thing I will say is, I don't know. I think it's just kind of weird how he's trying to steal the show from Jasmine. Like he's using the influence of Jasmine to fuel his channel. And I think that's kind of weird for me um, because I just, yeah, I just do. I just think it's kind of weird. Like if he want to share magical moments with his kids, get over there on Facebook and do it. You know, I don't know. It just seems weird to me. Um, women need to run. He can't support nobody. Yeah, with 10 kids, he definitely would need two jobs. And he need two jobs paying $20 an hour, both jobs. And he needs to be working both jobs 80 hours a week. 10 kids with inflation and the cost of living steadily rising. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he got some type of understanding with the mamas over there. Okay, I don't know. Um, but the people will be here for it. But yes, that's what I have noticed about um, you know, that's what I've noticed about YouTube. People love to see other people living, living life, right? And although Philip just laying in the bed talking to the camera, but he's telling people about his prison stories. Y'all, he give he gives me CC reacts vibes. He's like the male CC reacts over there. Okay. Um, will his channel flourish as fast as hers did? Nah, not really. Um, but he, hey Pi, hey Monique, hey Zeta. But um he does he definitely I do see how Jasmine fell in love with Philip. Um, because he, he just, he seems just like her. I don't know. Philip gives me goofy vibes. He just really does that whole smacking his lips talking. It, it just, it, it doesn't give me like, I didn't know men did. I, well, I'm gonna say this. I haven't ran across the man that smacks their lips like that. You know, it's just, I, he, mm, mm, I make it all them sound effects. I don't, mm -mm, I don't like that, but, um, to each is all who do. Yes, Zeta. Exactly. I don't know. I just, I feel like he's still very immature because me personally, I just don't feel like a grown man needs to get up on the YouTube and tell us about how he loved his baby mamas and hope them the best and love all this key. I don't know. He just seems very odd to me. Again, y'all, that's my opinion. Y'all can think what y'all want to think, but that's just my, uh, not manly at all. No, Zayda. Mm -mm. No. And it seems like them. those are the type of me and Jasmine like, because, you know, Chris, he, he doesn't give me uh, very masculine vibes either. I'm not saying he's sweet over there. He said they just give me, they give me a little little girly vibes at times with their behavior. Their behavior gives me that, you know. And uh, me, me personally, I, I like a masculine man. I don't want any man that has any traits or any female tendencies, none whatsoever. And those two guys definitely do give me that. Zeta would never, ever, never, ever. Okay. Soft, right? S H, just real soft over there. And I'm mm -mm, no, mm -mm. Uh, that is Jasmine Man Bird of exactly. I just I don't know. But again, now in his Q and A, um, Kaylin calls him. His daughter, the, you know, Jasmine's oldest daughter, Kaylin calls him and told him to get off the live. And I'm thinking to myself, why would Kaylin? 
first and foremost, why is Kaylin watching your channel? Okay, that's number one. Number two, because the things that you're talking about, she doesn't need to hear like a whole, about your prison stint and all the stuff you experienced in prison. I, you're not saying you're trying to keep anything from your children, but I don't think she's at the age that she really needs to absorb that. If Jasmine wanted um, Kaylin to know all about your whole prison stint, she would have been taking those kids to go see him the four and a half years he was locked up. But Kaylin, he says that Kaylin tells him to get off alive because the people looking at him. And I personally feel like that was Jasmine. I think Jasmine told Kaylin, call your daddy and tell your daddy you want him to get off alive. I really think that was Jasmine that did that because that doesn't even sound like, like why? So my thing is, Kaylin's used to YouTube. She's used to her mom doing YouTube. So your mama can do YouTube, but your daddy can't do YouTube. Like you, you know, Kaylin's always in the camera when her mama got, you know, y'all know Kaylin love the camera. She's always in the camera, but your daddy get on YouTube and you want him to get off. Why? You know, I really felt like Jasmine told Kaylin to call and because I I'm, I'm pretty sure Jasmine feels very uncomfortable with Philip on YouTube, but she knows she can't do anything about it because she doesn't run Philip. She don't control him. Hey, Dallas. Yeah, she's been watching him hard. Kayla shouldn't be in grown folks' business. Jazz made her call. Yeah, Trina, she did. She definitely did make him call. And I was just like, girl, let you know, leave that little girl out of y'all situation. You know, I said, bad enough you'd be having that girl over there giving the kids baths and stuff like that. The girl, let that let that little girl be a little girl. Did he get off? Um, he 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 got off soon after, not like immediately, but he did get off maybe 10 minutes or so after. Yeah, I think so too, Beauty. I definitely do think it's um, but what you know what? I'm gonna say this. I personally feel like the situation with Jasmine, Philip, and Chris should have been the relationship with Olivia, Antonisha, and Gerard. Just like it seems like ja now, Jasmine may be uncomfortable with Philip on YouTube because she just don't she don't want Philip to slip up and say anything, but Philip looks like he's the type that he just, he gonna say what he want to say, not what somebody tempts him to say. He's not Zolo over there. He's not answering questions for cash apps. Okay. Um, but I feel like Olivia should have tried to have the relationship that they have that, you know, Philip doesn't talk ill of Jasmine or Chris. He doesn't even entertain the people in the chat that's talking ill of neither one of them. Um, um, nearly, uh, Hey, nearly when you, I'll take care of that when I get off the live. Okay. I can't do anything about it right now. Um, so I, I personally feel like that relationship you know, Jasmine realized, okay, this man going to get out of jail. I, I didn't went on with my life. I didn't got a man. I'm living with him. We got a baby. And, you know, Olivia's over there still stuck in the sauce, you know. And Olivia probably should look at their situation and try to um, work towards those strides. Like, understand, like, we both are going on. Um, we're, we're moving on. Um, and and we're moving on in different paths. And I think Olivia should have followed the same suit that Jasmine is doing. You know what I'm saying? Now, the only difference is Gerard's not on YouTube, but he definitely is on Instagram, you know? But Olivia, to me personally, Olivia fun fumbled the ball on that situation because she definitely could have had a situation that um, Philip and Chris and her and Jasmine have. Olivia could have had that situation, but she chose not to. She chose to go the ignorant route. Um, let's see. I'm just looking at you guys in chat. Okay, LaShonda, no problem. I'm just looking at um, all you guys' comments and trying to make sure I stay caught up. 
But y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. Everybody is waiting for the tea. They're waiting for Philip to drag Jasmine and he's not doing that. That man's not doing that. I think he has enough respect for Jasmine not to do that. Um, you know, y'all got to understand Philip got a whole mama over there. Okay. And I don't think his mama would, would, and he living in his mama's house. I don't think Philip's mama would take kindly to the fact that him dragging his baby mama, who basically has, you know, uh, taking care of his kids the almost five years that he was locked up. Okay. Hey, Dr. Amari, hey, Erica. Um, so he's not going to do that as much as people try to provoke him. He's not. Now, one thing I did find that was very funny in the comments, someone asked, um, are you going to be striking a channels that's using your content? And I was like, what? What kind of question is that? <laughs> I said, oh God, they're going to troll. And he was like, what does that mean? He didn't even know what that meant. I said, oh, well, Jasmine will tell you, Philip." And I think to myself, why are y'all worried about this man striking a channel? Okay. That man is trying to find a date. He ain't stutting striking no channels. Okay. Anyway, um, Phil don't know how. No, he don't know how, but if he really needed to know, trust me, Jasmine would tell him. Okay. She definitely would let him know. Um, and he don't, and he not going to do so, took care of something. Ella. Hey, hey, talk, hey, oh, hey, Dr. Myra. Yes, honey. So um, I think that's why his channel grew overnight. People were expecting that. Yeah, Carolyn, people was expecting for him to get on there and, and, and basically pull a Zolo, like how Zolo did Olivia. Olivia should be shamed of herself. All the men that come out here uh, and, and terrorize her and Jasmine's men don't even do that to her, okay? They, she really thought that Philip was going to be bitter and 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 just drag Jasmine for Phil. But like I said, Philip has a mama. Okay, Zolo did not. Okay, so he didn't know any better. Philip got a mama, and he lives with his mama, you know, temporarily right now. And I'm pretty. And Philip got sisters that's watching, and I don't think they would take too kindly to Philip doing that. So yeah, that's not going to happen. Now, it, you know, Jasmine piss him off enough. Uh, I mean, he probably would don't he won't give his mom and his sister any regards and he'll release the dragon. OK. Uh, yeah. She said, yeah, because I need all my coin. I know that's right, Asia. Uh, and he not going. OK, I read that. Let me move up. Live how they flocking folks were trying to shoot. They shot. Uh, love how they flocking folks were trying to shoot their shot. Yeah, y'all, that was a that was that was wild to me how they was in there trying to get a piece of, and it's the same, you know, more than likely it was the same people that would be in the comment section talking about Philip like a dog. But once they listen to and hear his little conversation, now they're over there like, ooh, Philip, you got pretty eyes. <laughs> Ah, yeah, I do too, little mama. I, I respect the fact that he's not on here dragging um jazz. Now, don't get me wrong. Before Philip got out, I used I would say, I have said, let me say that. I have said, oh, shoot, Jazz, when Philip get out, it's going to be old and popping. But I just said that jokingly. I don't know Philip, and I didn't know his temperament. I don't know what he was capable of, or what he would or would not do. But we definitely know now he's not here to drag Jasmine or Asia. He's not He's not here for that. He don't want to do that because he respects the fact that they are the mother of his children, right? So he respects them enough to not do that. They were doing the most straight there. Yeah. Oh, Sean Smith. I was like, oh, y'all, y'all act like there's no single man in your city. Y'all got to wait till a single man get on YouTube. <laughs> I was like, oh God. I was like, the clubs must be really her Folks must don't go to the clubs anymore. Cause y'all used to, y'all used to be the man at the club. Um, okay. They were doing the most. Yes, girl. Just, oh my goodness. It was a mess. But anyway, y'all, I really don't have very much to say about Philip other than what I've said. I don't really have an opinion of him other than I hope he do right by his children. I hope he's able to make up for lost time because he definitely has a lot of time to make up for. Um, and, you know, hopefully Jasmine doesn't get super pissed off if Philip channel goes to 10,000 in the next two days. And, you know, hopefully she don't get pissed about that. But if she does, there's nothing she can do about it because at the end of the day, like I've always told you guys, one thing you got to have here is a uh, personality on YouTube and Philip definitely does have a personality. Okay. He's, he's, he is himself. Hey, Kendall, he is, he is his himself. He's not trying to put on a fake or frost or whatever, you know, he's just 
being regular Philip, you know. And he's very he's being very open and honest with people, and people like that. So uh he obviously he hope he has the kids though more they need to know him yeah they just especially aiden i hope he really gets a chance to develop a relationship with aiden um ava is his little twin over there and then the, the two oldest girls they know their daddy but obviously they need to reconnect with their daddy and then obviously all the other kids that are involved too i was thrilled he knew to boil water before adding noodles oh that's about it <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in that kitchen, honey. Uh-huh. Respect them BMs. He cheated on. Maybe he has changed. Uh, uh, yeah. Sun rose. I mean, at the end of the day, he respecting them now. Okay. He didn't respect them then, but he's trying to respect them now by not dragging them on YouTube. Now, what he did to them four, five, six years ago, I mean, he, you know, everybody has a chance to revamp themselves, so... It is what it is. All right, y'all. Let's move on because I'm tired of talking about Philip. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that man like that. I, you know, he's 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 just him. You know, but like I said, I did notice. I did notice that he does talk about his kids very affectionately, and I never hear Chris mention his kids at all. Like never ever. You know, he doesn't say anything like I'm going to get my boys this weekend, or you know, me and my boys gonna go play basketball, or he's mentioned his daughter. You don't ever mention him mention anything about his children. You know, that's why when he tried to act like he's so in love with Jasmine's children, it just gives me very fake vibes because I'm like, you don't even mention your own kids. So how are you so in love with Jasmine's kids when you don't even mention your own? That's just my opinion. He acted like he matured a little bit. So that was good. Yeah, he did. You know, a little bit, a little bit. You know, we'll see. Only time will tell. I, I I, really feel like once he meet a woman who's not really into YouTube like that and he gets to work and he moves in with a woman who don't want to do YouTube, his YouTube thing is probably going to be pushed to the side. I don't I think he's just doing it right now just to reconnect with the world, you know. But once he gets acclimated with the outside world again, I don't think YouTube is going to be the first thing on his list. All right, y'all, let's move on. So, again, we're going to now uh, focus on uh, – slow down, TMI says, oh, Chris over there is going live to talk about his kids in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, really? Okay. All right. So, y'all, we're going to get over to Kendra's G's live. Now, this live is about 30 minutes, and it's very interesting. So, a woman calls into Kendra G's live. Y'all know Kendra G normally goes live a couple days a week towards the weekend. But this particular day, she went live. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. So it was late. So she got a woman um, on there who was at the casino. And she said that she was looking for a man that makes $100,000 at, at the minimum. Okay? Because she's a, a traveling nurse. And she makes more than 100000 So she needs a man to make at least 100000 So there were some other conversations that went on. that I got the, the conversation turned really quick. And um, I'm going to give you all my thoughts. And then I definitely want to hear yours. And we're going to start it right now. So let me pull up this video. Babe. Carrie. Carrie, where are you calling us from? Calling from Atlantic City. Well, I'm uh, I'm in Jersey, South Jersey. But South I'm Jersey. at a casino. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 41. 41. Do you have any kids? Two. Two kids. Oh, you're at the casino right now. Right. How old I'm, are your kids? <laughs> 22 and 18. Wipe your phone off for me. Well, wipe my phone off. Wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We Are your kids by the same? That's better. Are your kids by the same guy? No, my first is um, twenty two, which is by my high school sweetheart, and my second is by, is by my ex husband. Okay, when's your birthday, yeah. Carrie? Uh, three weeks exactly, April 9th. So is that an Aries? Yes. All right, and what do you do for a living? I'm an RN. I'm a travel nurse. A R R N travel mm -hmm. nurse. She's in South Jersey, 41, yeah. on in travel notes, nurse, two kids, 28, 18, is Aries. What kind of man are you looking for? 
I'm looking for a man that is for me. I don't want a man that's for everybody. I need somebody that's like, stop blowing the smoke on me. Look, she over here vaping is blowing the damn smoke on me. I need a man. <laughs> I need a man that's for me. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't like a man that everybody knows. So I need somebody that's honest, somebody God fearing, somebody that's you know that's marriage minded. I was married before, so I want somebody that's you know what I mean, like. It's really like about to be like this me and him in our own little world doing our own little thing with no drama. Okay. What's some deal breakers for you? Um smoking weed every, every day, day. smoking cigarettes, cigarettes. um dishonesty. Um I don't, I don't want to die as bod because I don't have a bomb bod. You know what I mean? So um yeah, like somebody that's like, like, like uh, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't, don't want to bullshit, Kendra. Okay, can he have kids already? He can have kids. They got to be grown kids. What's like the age? I, What's the youngest? 15. Ooh, excuse me, 15. 15. So they got to be self No, I like, I like to travel. travel. Okay. How much money the man got to make? Over 100000 Over hundred k. Yeah. Is that too much to ask for? Shit, I make big money, money, so he got to make good money, money, so so together together we will make great money. Okay, so that's where I had a problem right there. Why why was Kendra shocked that she wanted a man to make over 100K? She asks this question all the time. She always asks people, how much money does a person need to make, right? So if this woman says, definitely, over 100K, why was Kendra shocked? Like, why shouldn't she want a man to, uh, obviously at this point, she doesn't know how much this woman make, but you don't need to know. Uh, If the woman is saying, this is what she wants, this is what she wants. So this is where it started going wrong, you guys. Here's the thing, and and women get mad when I say this. It's not too much to say. Not too much to ask for. It's just that the man that makes 100K doesn't care about your money and he has a lot of options. Right. So he has to be a man that desires you. And Mm -hmm. not saying that there's not a man that makes 100K that doesn't desire you, right? Right. But does he desire you and only you? Are are you open to an open relationship? No. I want my own man. So I'm confused. Like, why would you ask her that? Like, so you're saying a man that makes 100K is promiscuous and can't settle down with one woman? Why? Because he makes a lot of money. Every woman will want him. Typically, when you're out and about, unless you got a T-shirt on that says, I make 100K, when people meet you, they don't know how much money you make. Like, why, why would it be strange to know that a man that makes 100K a year is basically looking for the same thing this look, woman is looking for, somebody to love and to be in a committed relationship. Like, Kendra G, like, I, it was very weird when she said, I'm thinking to myself, at this point, Kendra, if you're, I don't know if Kendra's married or not, so you guys let me know, but I'm just going to say, if she's not married and she's dating, are you dating men that make less than you because you feel like the men that make more than you would want more, you know, want you and other women? Like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just curious of why she would, try to make this woman reevaluate her wanting a man that makes 100k a year okay. that's gonna want me that's just gonna want you did you have yeah. what's the last time you've been in that dynamic what dynamic the old man that wanted you um my last relationship was four months ago why the end because he because he was on some bullshit so he didn't want he wants you then he wanted something else too then no, he wanted a fucking allowance, and I was like, "Bitch, I'm not your mother." Right? So he wanted he you talked. to pay him. Right? He wanted me to pay for dick, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm good." Right? So you, 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 you. Okay, Kendra met somebody that she um, dates somebody that she met on her show. I was always wondering that. Okay, well, that's good to know. Thank you for letting me know that. You make a hundred k yourself? I make over a hundred k. Yes. That's the that's that's the unfortunate problem he has. Right. The, right. The, the, so when you when you date a man that makes less than what you're making, then it becomes a problem. He sees what you're making. He thinks that, you know, what I mean, oh, she got money. So whatever. But I'm not 
I ain't never paid for dick, Kendra. I'm never gonna pay for dick. So. Oh, no, I'm not t- <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm not telling you to pay for a penis either. To be clear, right? Right. I'm not telling you to. Be, I'm not telling you to pay for penis. I had a very emotional conversation about. No, you're not telling her to pay for penis, but you're telling her to ex- accept less. That's what you're basically telling her. Or not accept, but don't expect a lot if you make meet a man that makes a hundred thousand K. Like that's what you're telling that woman. And I, I don't understand why you're making that woman want to think that. Like, why is it it all type of people come to this show, all different walks of life, uh, all different people with different type of you know, um um income standards or situations so why would it be hard for her why why would it be hard to realize or think that a man that's making 100k as well is not watching the show right now and would think that she's nice looking and based off her conversation would want to meet her i don't know i think the way kendra questioned her would make men feel some type of way about the woman the way she responded and i just really don't think kendra should have went that deep into the reason why she wants a man to make 100k she just because she because she makes a lot of money too so she wants somebody to make just as much if not more but she she definitely wants them to make at the minimum 100k about the data and what i learned right so i don't i'm not a relationship expert i'm not a therapist I'm a, all i am is a professional journalist that hosts a dating show that i've been hosting for two years now and with the data that i learned it's more difficult for women to find a man that makes that amount of money to be faithful you right. can potentially date a guy that's going to make what you have and more but mm-hmm. if you ain't but more than likely he might want to sleep with other women so then right. you have to ask your question you have to ask yourself the question would you tolerate that then you might find a guy that will be faithful treat you great but he may not make as much as you does right. that matter to you more he can be faithful but he's not going to make as much so right. the unfortunate thing and i say this because the type of black man you will want to, i'm assuming you want to date a black man right it, it really doesn't matter i mean i'm oh, okay. jamaican okay. right no i mean i'm open i'm jamaican so like being relatable to a man in the caribbean is very important to me but i'm not like i wouldn't be like oh no i wouldn't want to date a, a white man like it's not you know what i mean it's not a deal breaker for me dating a white man i've dated a white men before um about the money situation pine yes you're right you're definitely right pine um keep them keep them high you're, you're meeting your standards but be realistic i'm not saying i agree but this is reality that's true like if he's willing to do what needs to be done i don't mind helping somebody like i'm a nurturer our so family that's true broke somebody. men do cheat all the time but hell me and cheat broke a lot title to what i have because i do have everything i don't need a man necessarily for anything i've always made more than the men that i've dated because i've all i've always been a go-getter you know what i mean so um i find that when i date men that make less money than i do like they feel entitled to what I have, which I don't appreciate because you didn't get me to where I'm at at this point. So when I'm dating somebody, I need I, I want somebody that's gonna build with me, even though I re- I'm already built. I don't mind helping somebody. So real quick, you're a beautiful yes. girl. I'm assuming you dated men that made over a hundred thousand dollars, right? I I've dated millionaires, right? Okay, so why so why did why did those places work? What was the challenges you had with dating millionaires? They were too busy. Okay. Right. And were they sleeping with other women too? No, I find that they just didn't have time. They were too busy making money. But you still want a man that is going to be in that way. I need him to do both. <laughs> have you ever found him? That's why I'm here. He doesn't exist. <laughs> he can. Because a man that makes a lot of money is going to be a busy man. He How can be here. to make a lot of money and not be busy? Kendra, I make good money and I'm not always busy. You You're make time. Man. You Right, but I you make time for what you want to make time for. Has that happened? 
don't do that. That's why I'm here. Listen, I'm not going to Because my thing is, you know this already. You make a certain amount of money, you don't need to date a millionaire man. Right. Don't try to change the will. No. What you got to decide is what are you willing to accept? Right? If you want a millionaire man or a man that makes a lot of money, certain things come with that. Right. So if you want to accept that, you can go that way. You can go that way. But don't ask for the millionaire man to act like the guy that makes 50K. They're right. different people. The 50K I'm, guy might be faithful, but then he wants money from you. You don't like right. that either, right? And I get right. that. I'm not saying you still like that. What I'm trying to challenge you to do is be honest with what you have experienced. I'm not telling you anything that you haven't experienced yourself. Right. I'm not looking for a millionaire man, though. So what are you you looking for? A man that makes your amount of money. Right. I, I, I don't want like a man. You dated that, but I feel like you've dated that man, right. too. I want a man that's motivated. Okay. Right. So money doesn't matter no more. That. No, it, oh, it does matter because I, I like to do things. I like, you know what I mean? I like to go out. I like to travel and travel. So a man that's going to gonna be there for you regardless if you does it have the money isn't important? Say that again. So, so if a man is going to be there for you but he doesn't have the money you make, is that important to you? If we're dating and it's just me and him, I don't mind helping my man. That's not a problem for me. Okay. When was your last relationship, Carrie? Uh, four months ago. Four, so why did that end? It ended because he wanted what I had. He wanted. And he made less money than you, right? Right. And, and okay, he, that was he, 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 right. right. He, he kind of felt like he was entitled to the money that I had, which if you were being a good man, you shouldn't have to ask for. What I think Kendra is basically advising her based off her experience. She's saying she's basing it off the experience of the data she's received from doing the show, hosting the show for two years. But I, I don't think that's what it is. I think it's based off her own personal experience. And just because that was Kendra's experience doesn't mean that's going to be everybody's experience. What I have, because it would just be given to you. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. Do you have kids? Yes. You can have kids. Yes. You don't want no more kids, right? No. Okay. All right, Carrie. This is Carrie. What's the age range you want to date now? Um, 35 to 50. 35 to 50. This is Carrie, South Jersey, 41, is an RA travel and nurse. She has two kids, 28, 18. Are you done with having kids? Yeah. No, my, my kids are 22 and 18. 22? 20, 22, oh, 22, yes. I apologize. Right. Salt to karma. That could be true. No, my daughter's with my high school sweetheart. My son is with my ex husband. Oh, you was married. When did you get yes. divorced? I got divorced in 2011. Okay. All right. And then she's an Aries. Okay. Why do you think you're single, Carrie? I think I'm single because I'm a little picky. Um, I'm very straightforward. I don't take a lot of bullshit. I'm very um, loyal, sometimes to a fault. Um, you know, I mean, like if I'm rocking with you, I'm rocking with you. If I'm not, then I'm just not. So, yeah, she is asking the same questions because I could have swore she already asked the lady what she had she been married before. That's it. Like I'm, I'm very honest, sometimes brutally honest, and a lot of men can't take that. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Some right um, speaks. I, I, I agree. I agree. I'm just a very nurturing person. Like I said, if I am for you, I'm absolutely for you. I'm very loyal, very committed. And I'm like I said, I've been a wife before. I like to be a wife. I like to be just me and him in our own little world. Um, you know, just my other YouTube. I, I agree with you as well. Kendra seems like she's talk, um, talking from an irritable place. I get what she's trying to do, but it's just not being well said. Well, she's also doing this live at four o'clock in the morning. I think Kendra probably should have just reneged on the show and went on here and went to sleep because the way she was talking to this woman is like she's on here to tell you a little bit about herself and what she's looking for in a man. Kendra does have situations where she will, you know, advise people of certain things based off her own life experience or just experiences of the show, of other guests. But I think at this 
on this particular episode, Kendra was basically speaking from her own personal experience. And again, that doesn't mean because that's your experience, that's going to be her experience or anybody else's experience. I can see you telling people, you know, this is what I have experienced. But later in the show, Kendra referenced the fact, the reason why she said that it was based off her analysis, the, the, the receipts she has, um, you know, the receipts she has gained over the two years that she's done this show. And like I said, I, I, I maybe some of that is true, but I think a more of it or a lot of it is the best based off her own personal experience. It's just us. Who don't want a Jamaican girl? Like, why not? We cook, we love. Like, it's right. Like, our family. She should just went on to be anybody that's ever had a Jamaican woman. Like they know what it is. Said I'm not a true Jamaican. What does that even mean? I think you're a true Jamaican. I listen, Kendra. Let me tell you something that Jamaica and tell anybody where I chat about being a real Jamaica, tell them go suck out their mama straight. Right. Suck your mother. That's what I said. Simple as that. Summer I speaks. I, I agree with you. Um, you said, listen, as a woman, as a woman, until you reach that caliber of success, it changes the dynamic of the men you're willing to date. Your requirements change. That is definitely true. That is definitely true. Um, I mean, exactly. You know, now I would like, you know, if you guys watch the intro to my live um, every time it goes live, I show a little clip of Super Sin or something that she said. And if you listen to what she said, that's basically what Super said. Super said she had to change her tolerance level, her standards. And once she changed that, it changed the type of men that she was attracted to because she she raised her standards. So whoever is talking about, oh, she's not a real Jamaican? No. Right. Like, uh, uh, Jamaican in the house. Why am I not a real Jamaican? Because I'm single? What does that even mean? No, Monica, she didn't. Said, oh, she, um, oh, Jamaican women like money. I don't like anybody's money because I have my own. I don't need anybody's money. Exactly, she can. I know I'm you don't here. need money. Right, I'm on here because I just don't want to be single. And I'm like, oh, I like Kendra's show. I'm like, so let me get on. Why not? And I was happy that you was on in the middle of the night. So I was like, oh, here we go. You know what I mean? Like, why not? But I'm going to have to read these comments and comment, like, after. <laughs> it will, no, Monica. Listen, and, I, and I apologize if I'm coming hard on you, but I think after... You're like, not. I, you're not. I, I like your question because it brings clarification. It's fine. Well, I just not think a problem. women, I think women in general, and something I had to learn myself, too, is... Right. Hey, Jere. You got to start... The unfortunate thing is that in hosting this show, when a guy comes on that makes a certain amount of money... And is attractive. He hits me the next day and says, Kendra, I had 2,000 women hit me up. So if a guy has 2,000 women, he's going to pick what he wants. He's going to get exactly what he wants. If he got 2,000 women. Now, I am a girl's girl. I have plenty of women. Out Shout there out to you, Walt. are beautiful, educated, well spoken, quality women. They don't ever hit me and say, I had 2,000 men hit me up. It's a different bargain. So I just feel like sometimes the type of... VB, are you talking about Kendra's approach or are you talking about her guest approach? Who approach you did not like? That was very off-putting to you. The guy that you as yourself would date, when you make it about money, you change the bargain. I think you should make it about character. Because I think the character of a guy should be more important to you and y'all can build together. And right. you can help make him make that money. But when you leave with the money, you leave it with something that you told me yourself. You told me yourself you dated these type of men and it never worked out. In a I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, character. Yeah, obviously character is very important, but um, that money is important too. Now you can have the best personality in the whole wide world, but it hasn't worked in the last 10 years. I don't give a damn how good your character is. There's nothing I can do with you. I want to know why haven't you worked in the last 10 years? Have you been working on a dissertation? Uh, you, you know, uh, you shit, you been locked up. Uh, you know, I mean, so no, it's not just character alone. You need to lead on character and not lead on money. I think you need to lead on both. 
Yeah, because if 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 I meet you and you tell me that you've been unemployed for the last three years, I don't even know if I'm going to, maybe I might ask why, because I'm curious. I'm like, well, how you been surviving for three years with no income? <laughs> Like, what you been doing? Where you been at? Where you been living? Where Can I go live there where I can live for three years and still, you know, walking the earth and trying to meet people and haven't had a job in three years? I mean, your character, your personality could be awesome. So I don't know, Kendra, I disagree with you there. I mean, at the end of the day, I can agree to disagree with Kendra, but, you know, maybe those are her standards and her tolerance level and things that she's looking for. Every, obviously, everybody's looking for something different. Long term, right? So maybe at this moment, Monday exactly, Dr. Person, Myron. It should be about the character of a guy, and that's something that you should focus on. Understand? If you want companion, exactly, Tina. Right, right. Understandable. That's understandable. That's all I'm saying. Right. And, that's, I, just want, that's and, I, and I know that. Everyone say, I don't want no broke guy. Okay, so don't have a broke guy. Have a rich guy you're going to see. Would you say, if you're writing a dissertation, you still need to work. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, my goodness, when uh, Elena from Mays Lee, when she was writing hers, she was working. She was doing YouTube. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? Do y'all not, not see what's happening? All the rich right. men know. All the rich men know every woman wants them. You think because you have a degree, he's only going to sleep with you? Are you silly? Right, never. He's gonna never. sleep with plenty of women, and I'm not. There's no judge. Yeah, no, I don't agree with that. Just because a man make a lot of money, don't mean he got a community ping, sis. There are men who have morals and values still out here. Now, you know, they look scarce, but they're still out here. So I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. Oh my God, Kendra, you're losing me. Uh, Mars XO says there's cons to building with someone. You better make sure they are loyal and they are they there for the long run because the la the last thing you want to you want is them leaving you for someone now that you built them up. Exactly, Mars. Oh, that is so true. And that typically can that typically happens, you know. I mean, it really, really does. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is a very interesting conversation. But you guys, you haven't heard the best yet. I mean, I'm just saying, whatever you decide you want, accept it. Don't right. try to change him to make him something that you know he's not going to be. I think you're, I think you're awesome. But I exactly. Hell, Philip, the right, our family. Hell, Philip got a good personality, but he's broke right now. When you grow, you better have a few dollars in your pocket and talking about date and talking about dating someone. Exactly. Philip got on this internet and told the people his mama bought him some clothes and some shoes. Now, I don't know how many women, many women is jumping up in his DMs when he just sit up here and told you that his mama bought him four pairs of shoes and some clothes and he's 31 years old. Hmm. Okay. I've also okay. a person that doesn't have a piece, right? <laughs> Most women are you don't matter. Awesome. <laughs> that hey, you crap. I, right. awesome. I think you're beautiful. I think you're great. I think any guy that has you is lucky. But I'm not a guy, I'm not a person with a penis. Right. I'm a girl with a vagina. So I'm gonna salute you because you're a female. Exactly, well, we walk. You're right. A real talk conversation with is if we're all these things, why don't these guys settle down then? Why are they not looking at the things the way? Exactly, BB. That's not what the cop, but um, Kendra went into a long explanation about something that didn't need to be so long and exacerbated like she did she did not have to go uh it's like you're really trying to convince like you've known this woman 10 minutes right you don't know what this woman has been through you don't know you know you you know bits and pieces and you're trying to you know redirect her whole life in a with, with a 10 15 minute conversation ah kendra lost me on this episode hey we're looking at it right okay somebody but i appreciate you exactly Ebony. Anybody that disagrees, you're welcome to come on. I, I'm, it's two, it's four. That's true, Pine. Can, you can definitely <laughs> come on and, and, and share your opinion. But in the meantime, let's get your IG. Just your IG, boo. It's Jamaican chocolate. Hey, the peach. J a m a i c a n. J a i a c i a. -N. Jamaican. J a m a i c a n. C h o c l t. Jamaican Thank you, chocolate. Peach. Yeah. 
J A M A I C A N C H O C L T C L T. Girl, I've been drinking. Yeah, right. <laughs> me too. Yo, somebody said die alone, bitch. You want? I don't believe in that. I don't believe her. Cover, her believe mouth is a little You're potty. Not die alone. I feel Sis, like you're hey. a person that has a full life, and you have people in your life. You told me you have two two children. Hello, I don't believe in the die alone bullshit. I'm just trying to get people to think about the person that they're saying that they desire. I don't know what happened, uh, but here's the deal. Who said they want, anybody want to come on? I heard a couple people say that they disagree with what I said. I don't mind having the dialogue. It's 420. Tam and Tina, I agree with both of y'all. If, if, if you want to I knew come someone on, right. welcome to come on. What she, you want to say? She instantly turned a lot of men off with that statement. Off real. Well, what statement? The, she dated millionaires and all of that. Like, that was just everything. Why did you get turned off as a man? Because... Okay, I make over a hundred thousand a year or whatever. So it was just I was just sitting here thinking like it's really Do you boo? Do you make over a hundred thousand a year or whatever? Like why you just you know diminish the fact that you make a hundred thousand? I you know, I make over a hundred thousand dollars a year or whatever. Okay. See women out here like that, like preying on those type of men, but they don't even have the, like the credentials so to say to even get get these type of men it's only one percent of men you know who make that amount of money you know and one percent have you have you 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 took a poll lately how, how do you know that sir so you're you're saying you're part of that one percent there's one percent of men that make a hundred thousand dollars a year really yeah you don't you're definitely not part of that one percent. I'm not. She she beautiful in her own type of way, but like she not even that attractive to do that. Not saying I'm just the most handsome. She she not, and and, and you are, sir. You laying in here in a damn do rag on the bed, sir. Where is your woman at? It's four something in the morning. Where your boot at? Well, whatever. But she not that. Like for her to speak like that, you know. Like that's that's aggravating. That's aggravating. So when a woman makes it about a month, the money income that aggravates you as a man. I feel like that aggravate a lot of men. Cause me personally, I'm not even where I want to. I'm only 28. I ain't even where I want to be in my life yet. And it aggravated me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like so, I know it aggravated a lot of men. And plus, a lot of men we don't care about how much money a female makes. Like that's not something that men care about, especially like more masculine men who go and take care of their business regardless of the situation like uh, do you guys agree with that do you think masculine men don't care about how much money women make mm, i think in 2022 everybody won't make sure everybody making a coin okay um either you getting up leaving the house with me or you getting up getting the stuff ready because you working home one of the, I, I think everybody needs to be concerned about how much somebody is making I mean, we living in very tough times, <laughs> you know, in these day and ages. And, you know, every penny, quarter, nickel, dime counts. So, sir, I don't know. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I mm, hurry up and get off the camera, sir. Like, we don't care about that. So she needs to, like, just calm down, Miss Jamaican Chocolate. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I, appreciate, I, I appreciate your insight. Where is he at? Is he in the back of his truck? Oh, he a truck driver? Or are you on are you in the, on the Amtrak? Is this your little bunker? Did you where are you going, sir? Sweetheart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, baby. Oh, uh, yeah, we got 2,000 people in the building. Here's the thing. Like, at the end of the day, I'm a girl's girl, but can I not tell y'all the, the honest data that I know? Because I've been hosting a show for two years. So I can give you honest data. And the honest data that I see is the the when you come up here and you make it about money and you say you deserve this money. Exactly, Mara. It's XO. just different, right? A lot of men who make that money, they don't really care about your money because they're going to pay regardless, right? What they care about are things that you don't think are important. Men begin with sex. So can I... I do apologize, you guys. And this is so unprofessional. But just a brief intermission. 
Uh, nearly, sis, I don't know if you're still in the chat, but if you come across this in the replay, if you're still in the chat, can you please email me um, at melvyrosebeauty at gmail.com? Um, I have some updates for you, some information about your package. Sorry about that, you guys. Let's continue. I sleep with you. Am I attracted to you, right? That's how kind of how they start. And then they figure out the other things. Do I like you? Are you educated? Oh, can you build my life up? Can I marry you? But sometimes women think because they're so great in their career that they don't think like how men think. And again, this is something I learned. Okay, so let me stop. Uh, Regina, let me read your comment real quick, sis. You said, I believe that TMR men don't really care about how much a year we make. They don't care. They want women to work, obviously, but our credentials and yearly income, they can care less. That's us as a woman. Huh. Yeah. Since I'm going to be honest with you, I think it's the type of man you're dealing with. I think a professional man would want a, a professional woman. Um, if he makes $90,000, $100,000 a year, maybe he doesn't necessarily desire for her to make that much, but he definitely needs her to bring more than $20,000 a year, okay? Because um, the whole object of us, you know, coming together, building a family, a unit, or whatever, it, I mean, I don't know if the family would be talked about again. It depends on where you are in the situation. Um, but in order to live good, we both got to be making money. I don't know. Again, I just really, I, it, it just really depends on the man. Maybe some men, obviously some men do care and some men don't. We'll just say that. Okay. Some men do care. Some men don't. I mean, to be all honest with you, then we could say that same for women. Some women don't care how much a man makes. They just want a man to be making some money and they'll just put their two coins together and, and you know, one and one will make two. You know, I learned this in, in hosting a dating show for two years. So now I have data to back hey, things Audra. I never knew until I started hosting the show. And the thing I hosted and, and the thing I learned the most in hosting the show, that 100 k guy y'all always talking about got a lot of bitches to choose from. Okay. And unless he and unless he's in a position and sometimes he settles down. But he settles down sometimes with the girl who knew him before he made 100K because he knows that that woman isn't with him just because if he makes his money. You know, it's all different types of reasons. So I'm trying to get women to understand what I have learned from the data of hosting the show. Now, there's guys that would treat you great, right? But you don't want him. <laughs> Plenty of men come on my show. They want to settle down. They want to get married, but they ain't got no swag. Their hair ain't cut right. They not really attractive. So no woman wants them, right? And that's just left. That's just kind of what it is. So kind of like women are like men too. Swag and all those things, attractiveness and all those things are important to a woman too. And one more thing I will say is that when women come on this show, they have no problem going in on the guys, saying you don't rise to the occasion, you got this many baby mamas, you're not attractive, you have on your hat, you don't look good, and it is what it is, right? You you can say what you wanna say, but as soon as the guy turns around and says, I don't want a woman with a wig or a wig, oh, he's the worst man in the world, huh? I'll be confused. Hello? Hi, Kendra. How you doing? What's your name? My name is Wale. Wale, what you want to say? Uh, I just want to say something about the lady that just left. It's, that's really disgusting. What was uh, disgusting? What did she say that was disgusting? Uh, exactly what you said. I'm a buttress. Exactly what you said. What you said was actually right. The man that she's looking for, they're not looking her way. She might be beautiful in her own way, but you coming up with, uh, oh, money, 
I need it. How many men makes that kind of money in America right now as we speak? You're not going to find, and like you said, the men that make that money, they're not looking your way. They got plenty of options. They got plenty of options. They need to just come down from this, their high horse, and just, and just cool down. If you so what are you talking about? They got plenty of options. And why can't I be one of those options? Like, what do you, what, I, sir, I'm not understanding. So y'all, y'all saying the one, I thought the woman was pretty. I thought her chocolate skin, her hair, her eyelids. I thought she was a pretty woman. Her mouth was a little potty, but um, her physical appearance, I thought she was a pretty one. Looking for something, like you said, you're going to find the man that has quality, that has everything that really wants to but it's not making that money are you gonna make that money you're just gonna crush his ego simply because you feel oh i got technically she's trying to say i got everything i need i don't need you so if you don't need someone then don't come on the show period that's how she comes off and it, it's it, it's a ton of a lot of people so that's what i got to say okay okay I think it's, listen, I think, I know women don't like it at all, right, to hear, but you got to decide what do you that want. is flower do you want a woman? So you got to, either whether you agree with her or not, I think it's free insight to hear what the gender, who you say you want, how they feel when you say you want something. You don't have to conform or nothing, but if you want a man, it's okay to hear how they felt when you said something. So I think that, I think that's our family and um who else said that our family and someone else said that too um i can't see i can't remember who else said that that these men sound mad because they don't make 100k exactly that you know they exactly sound like oh okay so you don't want to pick me because i don't like at, at the end of the day if it doesn't apply let it fly like the woman said what she said don't get offended if you're offended then get your weight up like she feel like she's uh, Michelle Obama or she uh -uh, no she's doing too much we don't care if you have money keep your money to yourself a man does not need all that if you meet a real man they just want respect and every other thing comes along with it there's some people that you're not going to even know they have money but they just want to pretend to you just to know the, exactly who you are and she just came here just to show the kind of person she is even if she finds that Okay, so it's a pass for me with you doing your lips like that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Man, mm -mm. they're not gonna stay. They're not gonna stay with this kind of attitude. You can have all the money in the world. You have to. Your your mindset has to be right. Your uh, 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 your attitude has to be right. She doesn't have the attitude to go with this with the thing she's looking for. She doesn't. What type of attitude is she supposed to have? Was she supposed to get on here popping her lips, chewing gum, blowing bubbles? Was she supposed to get on here with a whole bunch of uh, gold chains and rings on every finger? And like, how, how was she, what was she? The woman clearly said, I make a hundred thousand plus a year. I want a man that makes the same amount. What's the problem? Doesn't have the right attitude. She can go, she can go, she can take her money and marry her money. She's going to be all right. Take her, marry her money. Yeah, she she gonna go marry her money because that is how. If she goes out with someone, she's gonna be rude. She is very rude. I'm not taking con her confidence. I'm not taking her confidence for arrogancy, but she's 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 rude simply because she feels she makes money. Oh, I don't need you. Oh, if you don't need them, then don't come on here. That's how she came off. If you go back and check and see how she's, that's how she comes. Oh, if you don't make this money, don't even talk to me. If you don't do this, oh, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, no. That kind of yes, I am, Apple Pie, because he's making me mad. Right. Okay. okay. Listen, I, I appreciate She didn't come on here acting like I don't need a man because I could. She basically just said, you know, I mean, it's not that I need a man. Basically, what she was saying was, I'm not saying I need a man to make the type of money that I make because I need him to take care of me. I can do that well myself. What's wrong with her saying that? She's saying, I don't need you to make 100K because I need you to take care of me because I make that, I make that plus. I can take care of myself. I just want a man that makes as much money as me 
So therefore, he won't be all in my pockets based off her last relationship where the man was wanting her to pay him for peeing, basically. That's all she was saying. See, that's what I'm talking about, selective hearing. Y'all hear what y'all want to hear. Get your insight. Thank you so much. Someone said she's not rude. She was not. I don't know if I call her rude. I don't know if, I don't know if rude would be the word that I would use, but that's how you felt. I, I, I right there, Yella. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, baby. Why are you uh, laying in the damn um, bed with your flower cheeks? I do want to add a female. I don't want to be the only female voice. So let me get, I think I saw, let me see. You think um, she's a pick me? She? Hi, you got me. I'm looking a little bit dusty. It's late. It's like 3.30. I think, you, I think you look naturally beautiful. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm not here to be talking about men. I just want to um, reiterate on the fact that I think that Black women should be allowed to establish standards without people picking and prying on those standards, making them question them, and then turning the finger onto them when they start to question them because people are constantly prying. Like, are you sure? Do you think you deserve that? Is that out there? Have you been able to maintain that? Have you ever met a guy like that? And then turn around and when she says, okay, maybe I should rethink it. Like, that's what you did. You asked her a bunch of questions to decide whether or not that was feasible for her to achieve. And then when she said, okay, well, it's not that important. It's something I want. But then then people are in the comments like, well, she doesn't know what she wants. That's why she, yes, she does. She came on here. You asked her. By the way, that's something that I wanted to emphasize as well, Kendra, because I kind of feel like I watch you quite often. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, pop-up shows. I watch your show faithfully. It. I was all for what the caller was saying. But one thing that did distract me is I just want to know, yeah, maybe I'm just old-fashioned. I want to know why the nose of her glasses, you know, the little part in between the the the, the, eye, the glasses, why is that not sitting on the bridge of her nose? Is it because it's the style that it, that was distracting me? <laughs> Almost feels like to me there's a repetition behind you picking and prying at women who express that they want a man who makes a fair amount of money, who is going to provide, and etc. Um, because you asked her, she didn't make it a standing ovation that she needed a man to make money. You asked her, do you have a money preference? And she put a number on it. And the rest of the conversation surrounded that. I don't think we even got to the rest of the questions. I think we just continued to debauch. Yeah, and that's true, Kendra. When she said that she wanted a man to make 100K, sis, and, and shit, you aborted mission after that. You didn't hear nothing else. Hell, you didn't even hear the woman said she had been married before and the kids. You didn't hear anything. You were just trying to figure out why this woman want a man make 100K a year. But then when people come on here and they say, how much, you know, how much does the man or the woman need to make? And they don't really give you a definitive answer. Then you're wondering why they're not giving you a definitive answer. Then when somebody does come on here and give you a definitive answer, then you try to make them renegotiate their price. Like, I didn't get that about whether that was appropriate and then you brought up well have you been with a millionaire you said you've been with a millionaire she said yes and then we went down why that didn't work because they were too busy and you're like well okay the men that you want aren't available because they're too busy or the men that you want the men you're describing don't want you she didn't say she wanted a millionaire so him being too busy as a millionaire does not disqualify the 10 or the 100K making man that she's asking for now. She actually has degraded her taste because the man with that type of money is too busy and she can't handle that. So she's degraded her taste to a 100K a year man and you're still telling her, well, damn, I mean, why are you prioritizing money? I think women need to step back and think about what they're willing to settle for. Why does she have to settle? Why can't she meet somebody who's meeting her at her level? I don't think that she even needs to go into her mind and think, Am I able to take a 50K man if he loves me? That's not what she's looking for. That's not. That's true, Kendra. What she's looking for. And I don't think that we need to go back into what she's not been able to access to determine whether or not she's deserving of something that she says she wants. She makes 100K. Why can't she want a man who makes 100K? She never made it about money. You asked her if she had a preference and she said she had a preference. She didn't say that was all she wanted. So I, I do, just, can I, can I, uh, so yeah, I, I, absolutely. Am I, well, of course I can speak. It's my show. I can speak at any it's time. It's your show. You but I wanted to give you. you, I wanted to make sure I gave you the amount of respect to get everything off your chest. When did I say the word deserve? It's interchangeable. No, no. 
Pause. I never said deserves. It's not about what deserves. It's pause, not pause, about what you, you didn't pause, say that. Pause, you didn't say yeah, that. So, so, but so, so you can, you can read the comments. Real quick. When you talk, you I listen. Comments. When you talk, I listen. So I, I deserve the same respect, right? So let's yeah. get a couple of things clear. I never said <laughs> the word, I never said the word deserve. Never said Jerk, that. But it was implied. No, that's not implied. It's not you about, can tell by the comments that's that it not was implied. A comment, sweetheart. Listen, let's talk facts. Please I reflect never, on, on the comments, on. Kendra, listen, because this is a repetitive pause. commentary. This is not repetitive. Listen, when you spoke, I listened. So why can't I get this? Right. Well, but Kendra doesn't write, Tina. She implied expectations, but because she didn't say expectations, she doesn't. Basically, Kendra's saying, don't put words in my mouth. And to be quite honest with you, we can't put words in her mouth. We, Like Kendra said, we got to go on facts. You got to go on what I said, not your your implication or what you, you know, your assumption of what I said. And that's true, you guys. We, we, you know, but we, I mean, we all can read between the lines. Like Kendra's demeanor totally changed when that woman said that she wanted a man with a hundred K to make a hundred K. Kendra's demeanor totally changed. You could just look at her face. She looked at that woman like, what? Girl, like, why do we, and this was even before Kendra knew what the woman did for a living. So even if the woman didn't do anything for a living, if that's, again, you asked her what she wanted. She didn't tell you. You asked her, and she told you what she was looking for, which she Kendra does that to everybody. You ask people what type of income standards are they willing to accept, and this woman said 100 k and Kendra had a problem with it. She tried to talk that woman, and again, Kendra said that she's not a... Uh, you know, she doesn't give advice. She's, you know, she's not a vice person. She, she doesn't, you know, a dating coach or whatever. But she, because she, I guess she feel like she has, you know, authority to speak this way because she has hosted the sh show for two years. Yeah, but since you don't have authority over people's lives. Yeah, no, you don't, you don't have that authority. I want to get something clear. I never said the word deserve. So even though you felt that way, that was your feelings. I never said that. It's exactly, what, D is that a, oh, Hold on, you're ready to talk. You got to listen. Yeah, right. It's not about what you deserve. It's about experience. Exactly, Carolyn. See, what I was trying to get her to understand, because she has experience on this. She told, she told me, I didn't say anything about millionaire men. She brought that up. She said, I never said, have you dated a millionaire man? I would never say that. She... Well, here's the thing. Um, Juana, you said you, okay, yes, her behavior did change. And Nikki uh, Wow said, she always does that. This is why I don't watch her anymore. She wasn't like that when she, when the show just started. Oh, okay. She gave that. So what I was trying to educate her to understand is, okay, she is you dated Texo. millionaire men, you dated men that make that money, but you weren't happy with those men. That's all I was trying to get her to understand. So if you dated those men, that had the money requirement that you say is important to you. Why did you leave those men? So here's the thing, Sunrise. Let me let me just say this to you, sis. You said, TMR, I'm going to be honest that Kendra projected that that woman looks. Okay, you project, you're saying she projected that her looks, sis, not is it equate oh, uh, equate to require a man of a hundred K caliber trust. You know, I, I don't know why, uh, are y'all saying that because she's dark skin? Um, I, you know, I thought the woman, I mean, she didn't look like a, 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 a hood booger to me. You know, again, I'm not trying to date her, but when I, my first look at her, I thought she was pretty. I thought she was a pretty, her dark skin. I don't know, you guys. My opinion is we don't know what men want right? We, we, we just know men want, there, there are men that want women, right? And the men that want to date a woman, um, we don't, you know, obviously you would know what a man's taste is. I mean, a man, a man that approaches you obviously approaches you because he likes dark skinned women, or he likes women with natural hair, or he likes women with long hair or whatever the situation is. I think you just should allow the man to do the pick. I, I think it's, it's not fair for us to feel like, the, her looks are not up to standard to want a man with 100K. And like a lot of people in the chat have said, to be quite honest with you, 100K a year really isn't like a lot of money. It sounds like a lot, but 100K, 
And that's, you know, that's before you, you got to take out taxes of that 100K. So your 100K just went to about 80K, okay? And now you got a car note, you got mortgage, you got kids. And, and, and you know, if you're not with the, the wife or the, the baby mama, now you got child support, you got credit card bills, you got, you know, you, you want to go to the grocery store and buy you something to eat. Like, so that money is dwindling really fast. But why, why did you not just wake it out? Why are you the the premise of you asking those questions? The premise of you asking her to analyze the fact that she's dated men with money and was not satisfied is an inadvertent way of you saying maybe you should not want a man with money so that you can find someone who makes you happy. And I am saying you should not push back on somebody's preference just so they can find happiness. That is a settlement. You should never encourage black women to settle. The fact that black well, let me let me let me just the, okay. Please, can I finish my statement? Just no, you can't. Statement. Let me no, no. Now you're gonna listen. Gotcha. Now you're gonna gotcha. listen. Now you're gonna listen. Right. I listen right. to you, so now you're gonna listen. Right. Let me now, just ask you. It's giving no, pick me. It's, it's giving pick me. It's giving pick me. And you do this to every black woman that comes on here. But you watch my show. But you, but it's you it's giving here at four o'clock in the morning. I love differing opinions. Right now, I love watching my show. So why are you here? Just because you don't have high standards for yourself, Kendra, doesn't mean that black women have high if you feel that way, you want to settle. We don't have to. You want to settle, Kendra. We don't have to. Why are you up at 4 a.m. on my show if you feel that way? I, I was don't already up, you. my love. You I are up at 4 a.m. on my show. Yes. So and that means, that means you're not a pick me? Fools, you are. You crazy. Listen, baby girl, you I'm don't pick me. A you have low standards. We don't have to. Good night. Oh, yeah, I know you want to say good night. Of course you want to hang up. This is what this is why I don't like even talking to women. I'm not gonna say black women at a certain amount of times because all I'm doing is enlighten you when you say you want a certain type of guy in the income, his characteristics. It's not about settling. I don't give a fuck what you do with your life. I don't know you in real life. But if you dated a millionaire man, then you already know what comes with that. <laughs> so but you but she said the reason why she wasn't with the millionaire man because he was making so much money he didn't have time to spend with her. She didn't say the reason why her and the millionaire man broke up is because he was cheating on her. She didn't say that. Kendra, you implied that, but she didn't say that. Again, you sometimes you have to take what people say at face value. If they say the reason why we didn't work out is because he didn't want to make me number one. Then that's more than likely what she you know, again, like you said, like Kendra just said, I don't know these people, right? You don't know people's situation. You can't take one person and make it a broad situation. You can't do that. And that caller definitely put Kendra in her place because I I I do notice that she does that. You know what I'm saying? Like this woman came on here and gave you a very definitive answer of the type of money that she wants from a man. And you tried to lowball that woman. And you told the woman to look at people's characteristics instead of their coin. <laughs> like, who are you to tell somebody to change the way they do what they want out of life? Because at the end of the day, Kendra, you see these people for 10, maybe 15 minutes. These people have to live their life forever. So why should they take your advice and you're meeting them by chance for 10 or 15 minutes? That's not fair to the caller. Now you got this woman second guessing herself when she came onto the show being very, very, very adamant on what she was looking for. By the end of the show, you had this woman reconsidering her thoughts. And that's not fair to her. That millionaire man, for whatever reason, because you probably didn't like what came with that. If you dated a 500K man, you didn't stay with him because you probably didn't like what came with that. So when I ask these questions, I'm trying to get you to understand, okay, you had that. Why didn't you say if that was the most important thing? Maybe, aha, the money is not the most important thing because you had that and the money didn't keep you. So I can't have this conversation with women who have never experienced that. I'm a woman that has experienced that multiple times. And I'm a woman that makes very good income. And I have learned you can date a man in that world, but certain things come with that man. Are you going to... Like I said in the very beginning, Kendra's reasoning to this woman was based off her own personal experience. It wasn't based off the data that she has collected by being the host of this show for two years. It was based off her own personal experience. Are you going to accept it or are you not going to accept it?
All right, you guys, that was very interesting. I and I actually enjoyed that. Like those, the the men that called before the the last caller was a, a bunch of bozos, but um, Kendra conversation was very like that whole dialogue with that last caller really made Kendra look stupid. And she did because you tried to uh, lowball that woman. You tried to make that woman reconsider what she is willing to accept from a man because you felt like, and I believe, um, I think that was, was that Sunrise Speaks that said that, that Kendra basically was implying that her looks couldn't garner a man that make a hundred K and you could be right. You definitely could. It was a good topic walk. Um, it, it, um, Yes, Nisha. Yes, she definitely did. And I think that was a very good conversation. And that, yo, you guys, these are the type of dialogues that I would like to start having with you all because it's real life, you know? Now, granted, what goes on on YouTube, some of it it's real, some of it it's not. Um, Philip went live and girl, I lost half my life. <laughs> But, you know, it's what the people want. You know, maybe people don't get in, you know, get into conversations like this. I mean, it's a good conversation to have because at one point, all of us are going to be looking for somebody or you or either you have was in a situation where you were looking for someone to love or, you know, so we are we all been in a situation where we were looking for a, a companion. OK, so I think this was a very, very good um, conversation to have speaking on her personal experience. Exactly. She definitely was. Kendra, take your drunk self to sleep. Exactly. That colleague gave Keish, uh, Kendra a good old fashioned tongue like she did. And I like the way she was very she stood her ground. She was very articulate. She um, got her point across very well. The only thing that, uh, you know, startled me was the way her glasses went way up on her forehead. I don't understand why it wasn't on the bridge of her nose, but anyway, um, an old girl was pretty with some money and she made me laugh when she started talking Jamaican, LOL. I loved it. Yes, she was. I thought she was pretty. Um, yeah, thanks to our family. I thought the lady was pretty. I didn't look at her. I'm like, oh God, you know what I'm saying? I thought she was pretty. Yeah, she was a dark skinned woman. Yes, she was. She was she was a chocolate woman. But baby, what's wrong with chocolate? Okay. Uh, to our Kendra keeps saying she had data, but never once mentioned any numbers or figures, right, Kimmy K? She was going off. She's tr she tried to make it sound like she was going off past experiences with other callers, but no, sis. You talk to people for 10 or 15 minutes. It, even what they're telling you, even what they're telling you doesn't necessarily mean that their experience is what they're saying, right? You don't know if these people are be, being very truthful with what they're telling you. All you know is they're telling you this, right? But what you do know is your own personal experience. And that's what she went on. Tasha, no, her looks will garnish a garner a man who makes over a hundred thousand. You know, at, at the end of the day, people like what they like. Okay, you got men out here that like red bones. You got you got men out here that like white women, chocolate women, Mexican. It's like people prefer what they want to prefer. You know, people prefer what they want to prefer. Um, okay, you guys, I hold on one moment. Just hold on. Our family says, I'm chocolate and I love my skin. I, I am too, you guys. I am a chocolate woman, as you know, and I love my skin. And if you don't like my the skin that I'm in, then you're missing out. Like, that's your problem. I can't worry about, you know, I know we all want to be beautiful. What we feel is beautiful, you know, but what your reflection of beautiful is may not be my reflection. You know, um, like I said, you have men out here that don't like women with weave and you have men out here that don't care if your weave is down to your butt. They don't care. Okay. Just as long as that thing don't fall off when you in the bed. Um, but what I don't take seriously is when people call into that show and they laying in the bed, like those two men, y'all laying down. I understand it was very early in the morning, but you're now being shown to potentially hundreds of thousands of people. The least you could do is sit up in the bed, okay? I, I don't get that. I love my chocolate stuff. So does my husband. Exactly, Jessica. I, it's, baby, and there's nothing wrong with a little chocolate, okay? 
a little chocolate or a lot of chocolate. Nothing to my, my light skinned women, red bum, love y'all too. Love, again, at the end of the day, love the skin that you in. Okay. That's the moral of this story. But I think that was a very good conversation. We have another one that I'm going to try to do. If not tomorrow, I'll definitely do it Friday. I may save it for Friday, you guys, because like I told you, I am very busy um, with both my businesses right now. Um, we're getting, we're coming into the spring season. Well, we're already in spring, but um, so I'm trying to get my candle line launched um, by the middle of April. So I just got a lot, a lot on my plate right now, you guys, a whole lot on my plate. So I hope you definitely do understand, but I definitely will try to um, jump in here um, as much as I can. Thank you, Tamara. This this is more of my speed grown up conversation, right? Life. Yes, it is. Like I said, you guys, my channel had was started on reacting to the mommies and you guys, we, we clearly can see these mommies are, are, they're moving on. They're growing up. They're moving on. Things are definitely changing in their lives. So the reaction is going to change, you know, um, for the past couple of years, we've been discussing Jasmine by herself and then Chris came along and now Phillip's out of jail. So things are just changing, you know, and I don't know how my commentary is going to go. You know, um, we, we really don't talk about Livia like that. I mean, every blue moon, um, but, and we don't talk about Chrissy too much. I mean, we talked about Chrissy enough a couple weeks ago. So, um, so yeah, so you guys, I really don't know. Um, we age differently from others from other skin color. Yeah, exactly. We do. I love this. Thank you for showing us the different things on the, uh, in the world. Tosh. You're welcome. We have, like I said, I have a, a couple other for you guys that I may, I may try to do it tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I definitely will bring it to you guys on Friday, but I hope you guys enjoyed this live. I really enjoyed conversating with you guys. I thought it was a very interesting conversation. I love the way we debate and con conversate. The next time you guys, when we do another one, I will try to feature that in the beginning of the video. So I'll give the other half of the live show for call-ins. If you guys, because this would have been a good conversation to call in on. But the moral, the takeaway from this, you guys, is stand your ground. Whatever you desire from a man, stand with that. Don't bend. and Because and, I'm telling you, when you make exceptions, you typically are the one that's going to get the short end of the stick every damn time. Men don't make exceptions. If men say they only want to date light-skinned chicks, that's all they date, light-skinned chicks. If men say they only want, uh, you know, they only want to date white women, that's all they date, white women. Men typically, not, you know, I'm saying typically, don't, they don't make exceptions. Women, we do. We make a lot of exceptions. And a lot of times, y'all, we get left with the short end of the stick. OK, so if you want to stop being left with the short end of the stick, stand your ground, sis. If you feel like you want a man that make one hundred thousand dollars a year, then that's what you want. Now, do understand, though, if you do want to if you desire a man that makes a lot of money, since you got to You got to you got to be up there, too. Now, you can't be making ten dollars an hour and you want a man that's making fifty dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? Because you you y'all might not be in the same places. Right. A man that's making fifty dollars an hour, he might be, you know, somewhere totally different. He might not be hanging out at the hole in the wall. And then again, he might. But it's probably unlikely that he is. So, again, if you want that type of man, you got to be in the type of places where those men are at. OK, it's just that simple. All right, you guys. Um, I love talking about um, Homer's show. I don't want to talk about them girls all the time yes ex exactly i meant to say yes i would love to do a call it yes kimmy k we definitely will do one the next time the, um the the next one i have for you guys that one definitely will um garner a call in because i really want to get you guys opinion so our next conversation is going to be uh, one of my subscribers sent this to me and I definitely feel like we need to talk about it. And it's and I want to leave you guys with a takeaway so you guys can think about it. So that when we come live again, um, you'll be able to, you know, have your thoughts and opinions on the conversation. So this will be the takeaway from this live. You, I want you guys' opinion. You're in a relationship, right? And you're dealing with a man. Is it wise that you don't make money while you're dealing with that man? Even if that man makes a lot of money, say, say for instance, he's um, a rapper. OK. And you have his children. Is it OK for you to sit at home and be a stay at home mommy without making any income? Or is it wise for you to be making income as well? Because, again, 
People change like the weather, honey. You never know what happens. And women, one thing about women, especially when we got children, y'all, we always got to be ready for the unexpected, okay? Uh, we never know what might happen. So you definitely need to understand that if you're dealing with a man that's, quote, unquote, saying he's taking care of you, since you still need to be taking care of yourself in the process. Because that man might wake up one morning and say, I don't want to do this anymore with you. And then since you stuck. So that's going to be the next conversation. I have a video I need to show you guys of a woman that's going through a similar situation. And I want to get your reaction for it. Okay. Earn your income, right, Yoli? Earn your income, honey. Yes, exactly. Um, no, no, make your own, right, lady B? Make your own coin, honey. Still take his coin. You still take his coin, but sis, make your coin too. Because you never know when this man, he, this man might wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what? I don't like you anymore, okay? And then you sitting here looking stupid, trying to scramble and figure out something. All right, you guys, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure you hit the like button if you didn't when you came in. I definitely would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, sub what you love. Bye.